Well, guys, it's actually been a minute since we actually made a video on Nikki Haley. It seems like almost a year, but I believe it's only been like a matter of uh, weeks, to tell you the truth. Now, South Carolina is the home state of Nikki Haley. And for some reason, Nikki Haley is still in this race. I don't know why. She has no shot whatsoever to defeat Donald Trump. Maybe she's actually praying, you know, for a conviction of Donald Trump and that they actually lock him up. Um, that look that look like that's going to be happening here in 2024. I mean, that Georgia case is falling apart bit time. I believe it's only a matter of days before we actually find out if uh, Fannie Willis will actually be dismissed from the uh, Georgia case. OK, but things are not looking good for Nikki Haley. She is making a fool of herself. She should drop out. But Nikki Haley, she's not going to do that. Word is she's going to stick around to uh, through a uh, Super Tuesday. Will she actually stick around through the uh, uh, Republican National Convention, too? Every day, man, it gets worse for her every single day. I told you guys before she has no shot whatsoever. She's going to get blown out in her home state of South Carolina. Well, we got some more news here about um about uh, South Carolina and it's worse. It is worse than Nikki Haley. And also um, it kind of reiterates what we already told you. The people that are supporting her are not Republicans. They're not. The people that are supporting her right now are the people that will actually vote for Joe Biden uh, this November. If Biden is still on the um, if he ends up becoming the Democrat nominee. I mean, some people believe that he's not going to be the nominee. He's making gaffe after gaffe after gaffe. We'll have to see what happens. I hope that Joe Biden actually does stick around. I hope that he does because he's going to get destroyed. Well, let's get into this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. It just starts at $5 per month. We can use your support. And if you're watching on Rumble, click the join button, get access to the same thing. So here we go. Check this out. This is um on Yahoo from USA Today. Check this out. Home sweet home? Question mark. Donald Trump trounces Nikki Haley in exclusive South Carolina poll. And we got some more details here. The margin is wide. Wide, not even close. OK, she's going to get demolished. OK, look here. It says Donald Trump is poised to trounce Nikki Haley Saturday in a home state of South Carolina an exclusive Suffolk. Uh, Suffolk um, University USA Today poll finds with a yawning advantage that hasn't been diminished by the former president's controversies or legal um, travails. Now, we saw what happened in New York. I believe that only makes Trump stronger. And this whole Fannie Willis case, people seeing that is falling apart. The more they actually try to go after Trump, the stronger he gets and the weaker Nikki Haley becomes. She was never really going to be a um, a competitor to Trump anyway. Look at this. Among those very likely to vote in the state's Republican primary, Trump leads Haley by close to two to one. Sixty three percent to thirty five percent. This is his story, guys. That's a what a twenty eight point margin in our own home state. Now. It goes on, it says, quote, the story of this poll is the depth of strength shown by Trump, said uh, David Pelagos, director of the uh, Suffolk University Political Research Center. The former president holds double digit advantages among men and women. Women right there. Are voting Trump, not Nikki Haley. That's huge right there. Um, in every age group among uh, both with high school graduates and those with a college degree. Haley has hoped for a strong showing in South Carolina, the state that twice elected her governor. But Pelagos notes that Trump's lead is larger than his 19 point win in 2016 over Senator Marco Rubio in his home state, Florida. But at the time, Trump wasn't actually a resident of Florida. 
He didn't he didn't become a resident of Florida until um, 2019. Okay, Uh, the survey was taken Thursday through Sunday by landline and cell phone of 500 South Carolina voters who said they were, uh, quote, very likely to vote in the primary or had already cast an early ballot. The margin of sampling error is plus or minus 4.4 percentage points. Doesn't even matter. I mean, Trump is demolishing her outside of the margin by like a thousand times. OK. Now, over here, um, it says um, Trump created controversy this month when he mocked uh, Haley's husband, Michael Haley, blah, 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 blah. But it says um, even so, uh, Trump leads Haley. Haley among voters in military families, 65 percent to 33 percent. A 32 point margin right there. A bit wider than is I'm standing among those who don't have a member of the military in their family. Now, check this out. Both Trump and Haley have net favorable ratings among primary voters. The former president is more popular, 64 to 25 percent. Than a former governor, 47 to 36 percent. But that is a massive margin there in um, in a favorability right there. Trump is 64. Nikki Haley is only 47. OK. Uh, Trump is also more likely to convert a favorable opinion in a primary vote. 90, 90 percent of those with a positive view of him plan to cast their ballot for the former president. In comparison, 65 percent of those with a favorable opinion of Haley plan to vote for her. In other words, they like Trump way more. Now, here's a sticker, man. We've seen this before. Check this out. Haley does hold a wide lead among those who identify themselves as liberals or moderates, a.k.a. Democrats. Fifty nine percent to thirty eight percent and a narrow one among those who are voting in the GOP primary for the first time, 51% to 49%. Her biggest advantage over Trump, um, 63 to 37%, is among those who say the most important issue is the future of democracy. That's Democrats right there. That's Democrats. Um, That said, only 13% of those surveys say democracy is their biggest concern. Ranked at the top at 42% is Immigration, border security, those voters support Trump by nearly four to one. Yeah. So they have it, guys. Not looking good for Nikki Haley, man. She is going to get embarrassed in the South Carolina primary, man. I'm wondering once she gets blown out by like 30 points, is she actually going to call this a win? Because. She considered, you know, her um, losses in Iowa and in um, New Hampshire to be victories. I mean, she delusional. Yeah, she's completely delusional, guys. So that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.